Welcome, football fans, to this matchup in the Axis Football League. I'm Dave Stevens, here with my partner in crime, Mike Steele. Any given Sunday. Sure, it sounds cliche, but we really are entering one of those matchups. Two teams who don't need much of an introduction, getting ready to show us why they should be considered among the league's best. You are absolutely right, Mike. It'll certainly be exciting to see how things unfold today, Mike. Quarterback to pass. Throws a heater. And that's enough for a first down. Number 11 with the taunt. Second down. Here comes the rush. Sacked. Loss of nine. That brings up a crucial third down. Number 11 steps back into the pocket, airs one out, and it's off. Third and longs are one of the hardest down and distances to convert. The defense did a great job holding them up there. Fielded at the 16-yard line. The home team begins the drive from the 30-yard line. He tosses it to the runner. Good enough for a first down. Back-to-back -back first downs really has an impact on the crowd, too. Setting up the screen, up the middle, incomplete pass. Pitching it off to number 24. Third down. He drops back to pass. He muscles one high down the left side of the field. And that's enough for a first down. Throws. That will bring up second down. Number 13 makes the handoff. That brings up a crucial third down. That marks the end of the first quarter. Still, nothing, nothing. Number 13 dropping back. Snagged out of the air. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. A penalty marker on the play. Number 13 makes the pitch. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team takes the penalty. You know, in those situations, even as a fan, the QB might be drawing you off, and yet they fall for it anyway. And he can't reel it in. Not a bad idea to take a shot down the field in that situation. You've still got a very manageable third down situation. The kick is up. Oh, and he's, he's not going to have enough leg. Quarterback to pass. Zings it out to the sideline. That's the kind of talent this team has, Dave. Moving the ball at will against a defense that isn't full of slouches. That brings up second down. Handing it off to number seven. The home team comes out with five DBs. Third down. In these longer passing situations, the receivers need to try and find a seam down the field or gap behind the coverage to sit down in and try and pick up the first down. The punts away. The return man catches the punt. Makes the return up to the 42 yard line. The QB steps back into the pocket. He rockets a pass. The home team calls the first timeout. 
Now, when you want to get the ball into your receiver's hands quickly, that's the kind of throw you want from your quarterback. And he won't make it very far before being dragged down. The home team will call their second time out here. That brings up a crucial third down. Third and short, Dave. With how things are going for the offense today, I'd expect a short run to try and pick up the first. The punt lands out of bounds at the one. Number 11 drops back. Rockets one. The away team takes a timeout here. First down. Number 11 dropping back finds a target. Number 26 makes the reception. Second down. Dropping back. He throws one, makes the reception. He scores! That was a great short strike into the end zone for the touchdown. Number 36 on the kick. It's good! The away team striking first. Seven, nothing. If you look at statistics, teams that score first are much more likely to win the game. We'll see if that happens today. Tackled after a return of 22. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Toss it, and it's picked off by number 52. Dave, he's been staring down that receiver all day, and the secondary is just keying on it. He wanted a big play, but he gave one up instead. The away team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. Pitching it off to number seven, the home team takes their last timeout. The home team takes the penalty. Move them back a few more yards. You can console the guys at teammate all you want, but it's going to frustrate those guys. There's a penalty marker on the field. He can't make the catch. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team takes the penalty. Whenever a blocker uses their hands to hook, grab, or pull a defender like that, it's going to be a holding call. He makes the catch in the end zone for a touchdown. Great execution by several key players to get that touchdown. The kick is up. It's good. The away team extends their lead, 14-0. For a defense, this becomes personal now. They're starting to put points up at will. Number one catches the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 22. So much of football is mental. The offense needs to get a score in this drive to build some confidence if they want any shot of coming back in this game. That will do it for the second quarter. The away team leading 14 nothing. The away team is getting set for the kickoff. Number 36 kicks a deep one into the end zone. The return man catches the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 22. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Emma Adams. Emma, what can you tell us? Guys, I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. It was a strong defensive performance, and he reiterated that to me a few times. The defensive line has been imposing their will on the opposition, and unless serious adjustments are made on the other side of the ball, they'll have to continue to do so. Guys, back to you. Thanks for the report, Emma. Go. Number 24, on the run. Giving up those yards so quickly, even the mascot looks frustrated with the defensive. Tosses a pass across the goal line. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. Dropping back. Throws the ball, and it's picked off by number 21. You can always tell when a player makes a mistake. He's walking off the field as far from the head coach as possible. The defense has a chance to come up big. If they can force a punt after that turnover, it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence. Incomplete. 
He lets one fly way down the field. Drops back into the pocket. He hurls one deep down the right side of the field. That'll be enough for the first down. That's one of those things that's just not coachable, Dave. You either have the ability to launch a ball in there like that, or you don't. Pitches the ball out to the runner. Number 11, looking to pass. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Throws a heap. The pass is intercepted by number 28. That's a situation where progressing down to your check down receiver would be a much safer throw. Instead, he forced it in there and threw an interception. It will be interesting to see if the offense can do anything on this drive following that turnover. And it's picked off by the defense. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback bounces back after that pick. That will do it for the third quarter. The away team leading 14-0. Dropping back. He lets one fly off to the right side. And he misses his mark. The QB hands it off. Tackled near the line. That brings up fourth down. The kicker makes the kick. Inches wide, no good. The home team has a great opportunity here to build some momentum and eat away at that lead they're facing. Dumps this one off up the middle. Second down. When the pass has to get there in a hurry, the bullet is the QB's best weapon. Nice throw on the play. Tosses the ball past the first down. He's brought down. Let's see what the call on the field is. Well, it looks like we've got an injured player on the field. The away team takes the penalty. That was a clear hold. Good call by the officials. First down. Steps into the pocket. Brought down up at the 41. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. The whiteout wasn't too quick to give that pass up. For a second, you wonder if it wasn't just embedded into his hands. Tackled quickly by number 92, the home team calls timeout. He makes the throw. Taken down, the home team calls their second timeout. When you can complete those types of throws for first downs, it forces the defense to move men out of the box, which opens up the run game. Great anticipation by the quarterback to throw it where the receiver needed to be. A penalty flag on the field. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The defense will decline the penalty. That will bring up second down. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. On third and long, the defense will likely be in a soft zone. The receiver will need to find that gap in the coverage and show the QB his number. That'll bring up fourth down. It's important for quarterbacks to have a nice repertoire of passes. That was a great example of a bullet pass. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The away team will turn down the penalty. Fourth down stops like that can really change the momentum in a game. It's basically like forcing a turnover. Pass complete to number one. Touchdown! That was a well-designed play to get him open on that short pass into the end zone. Here's the kick. It's good! The away team extends their lead, 21 nothing. You give up more points here, and you almost don't want to walk back to the sidelines to hear it from the coaches. Number one takes the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 
25-yard line. The offense needs to get to work here. They've got an uphill road ahead of them to retake the lead and would do well to get things rolling now. And they can't connect incomplete. Number 13. Looking to pass. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team takes the penalty. It's a common misconception that blockers are allowed to grab defenders as long as their hands are on the inside. That's what we saw there, but it's still a holding penalty. The away team takes the penalty. That's a tough break for them there. Go. He sends one. Makes the catch. Touchdown! Put six on the board for them. The defense seemed ready for it, but the offense just wouldn't be denied. And it's good! The home team recovered some ground with that score. What a game today, Mike. Now, who do you see have the most impact on the outcome? Number 11 for the away team answered the challenge today. He's my stud of the game. He could have easily came up short today, but he definitely lived up to the billing. 